How you doing? A little more carry out physics for you. I'm going to do two example problems. Finding our centers algebraically, uh, one with letters and one with actual numbers. So the first one I will do uh, will involve actual numbers. So what I'm going to do is put a system together of masses that we will find their common centers. First thing I will do is show you where one of the numbers comes from. This is a meter stick that I put on a scale and so at its 50 meter mark. So that number 78.3-ish, 78.4 is going to be the mass of the stick. 78.4 grams. That's accurate enough. The next thing I'm going to do is put these C clamps on the scale, those guys are right there. And when I put one of those on the scale, it will give us the number that I will write down as the mass of a clamp. And that is 214.3-ish to 14.3 grams. So, ooh, there's the picture, taking a picture of the picture. Ooh. It's called a refresh rate, kids. Um, what I will do is put this together and be back in just a sec. So pause. All right. And so we're back now. Hi. What you can see is I wrote the mass of the stick and the mass of the clamps down there. And what I also <laughs> want you to see is where I put those clamps. So one of those clamps is at the 20 centimeter mark one is at the 30 centimeter mark mm -hmm. and i will scroll down here and show you the other one is at the mm -hmm. 60 centimeter mark and so what we'll do is calculate the center mass of the entire system that is including the stick and those three uh c clamps and what i'm doing is i'm putting my finger at the ish 38 and lifting it up and it is staying balanced and so our answer should hopefully be somewhere around the 38 centimeter mark. So let's go ahead and learn how to do that. Mm -hmm. I'll just show you another example because it's not too hard. So if that's the zero mark, and again, I had one of them at the 20, one at the 30, and one at the 60 then the center mass is the x center mass which is simply the sum of the masses times their distances from wherever we started counting and i'm going to divide that by the sum of the masses so starting at the zero mark the first mass I bump into is the mass of the clamp at the 20 centimeter mark. The mass of that clamp is 214.3 grams. I'm not going to mess with any converting. You guys need to know what pushing the divide mutton means. So there's 214 grams and I will multiply that by its x location which is 20 centimeters. Again, I'm not going to mess with that conversion. You guys need to know what pushing the divide button means. Um, then I'm going to add uh, the 30 centimeter mark multiplied by that same 214. So 214.3 <laughs> uh, grams times 30 centimeters. To that, I'm going to add the mass of the stick itself, which was 78.4 grams and i will come down here to do that so i will again that's a plus button um it will be the mass of the stick 78.4 grams multiplied by its location for the center mass which is going to be right there ish at the 50 is the stick's center mass so times 50 centimeters and then to that i'm going to add the mass of the final um, C clamp, it's that same 214.3 grams. I'm going to multiply that by 60 centimeters. Okay, uh, close the parentheses. That's the numerator. That whole thing is now going to be divided mm -hmm. by the sum of the masses, which will be 
0.4 grams plus 3 of those 214.3 gram uh, masses and put that in parentheses and I promise kitties if you type it just like that you will get the happy answer which I will go get a magic box and there is the magic box calculation folks hopefully you can see why I like the math where you can do the whole darn thing all at once and our answer is 38.115 so that's how you type the sucker all at once we have just found our center mass so this uh, XCM is 38.115 38.12 it doesn't matter that's plenty uh, of specificity. All right. Uh, the second calculation I'll show you is going to deal not with meter sticks, but foot sticks. And what I'm going to do is set these two foot sticks together um, so they make a bit of an L shape or an upside down kind of backwards L. Uh, if you're familiar with the Greek alphabet, this kind of looks like the letter gamma, capital. Um, but anywho, what we'll do is say this is a uniform rod. It's a foot stick made up a uniform density, uniform composition. So its center is at the six. It's right at the half of its length. This is another uniform rod, a very fine foot stick, whatever. It's uniform composition. I forget where I bought these, by the way. Its center is at the six inch mark, so it's at its geometric center. So what I'm gonna do is do this math to find the center of this orientation of two foot sticks uh, oriented like this and say, okay, where is its center? First thing we need to do is pick an origin. Where will we call zero? So what I'll do is I will say, I don't know, this corner here or this one way down there. It doesn't really matter, I guess, given where the camera is right now. I'll go ahead and call this uh, to be the zero mark. So that's going to be zero comma zero. All right. So that means when I get an X and Y center mass, it's going to be relative from that location. Now, what I'm going to do is start with an X center mass, and I will do an X C M calculation. Uh, the first thing I will do is multiply the mass of the vertical stick times its X location from that dot. And I know where I put that dot right there. Um, it's going to be considered zero meters away from that dot as our reference point. If this is just a nice thin rod, if it makes it easier to visualize, I'll do something like that. Um, but what it means is where that zero mark is, is where we will begin counting. Um, so if it's easier to see, maybe I'll put it right there. There's our zero mark. And I'll put the edges of those two rulers right there. What that means is this vertical uh, ruler, the vertical foot stick, has a mass of m, and its x distance away from that location is zero. So it's m times nothing. To that, I will add the mass of the horizontal stick, which is the same m, but it is now multiplied by its x distance away from that origin and this is going to be the length of the stick divided by two which we all know is six inches but i'm not going to use absolute numbers here i'm just going to say hey it's going to be uh relative to the length of the stick so then i'm going to divide that by the mass of the whole system the mass of both sticks which is m plus m or if you want to just call it 2m that's okay too what you can then do when you do the math is say that whole term goes away this is m times l over 2 divided by 2m so the m's die and it becomes 
L over 2 over 2, which equals 1 fourth L. So that means if the length of this stick is 12 inches, we need to go 1 fourth of the way there. It will be somewhere in line with that 3 center, or that three inch mark. Uh, and this one happens to be the three inch mark right there. So somewhere along that line, and it makes sense. It's very close to the left here because there's a lot of mass given to you by this foot stick and there isn't any corresponding mass on the other side. So there's that one. The Y center mass will be done exactly the same way. What I'm going to do is take the mass of this vertical stick, which is still M, and I will multiply it by the distance away on a Y axis. Its center mass is, <clears throat> which is that six centimeter mark from that dot, and that happens to be negative L over two. So there's that, to that I will add the mass of the horizontal stick and I will multiply that horizontal mass by the distance on a y axis its center is from that dot and again all I'm moving is in on an axis it's zero meters on a y axis so there's our times zero close that parentheses this term dies I will divide it by the same mass hole, which is just 2m, which I just didn't write it as m plus m this time. So you can see those m's dies. This again becomes negative l over 2 over 2, which you all know is negative l over 4, which means I have to go below this origin, one fourth of the length of a ruler, which for a ruler the length is 12. So it's going to be in line with that three. So what you can then tell is I have um, this three from the vertical stick and I have that three labeled from the horizontal stick. And so it's actually kind of ish right where that letter C is, is the center mass of that whole system right there. Um, and it makes sense. It's way up in that corner because that's where the mass plays Beatles music, it comes together right there. Um, and so we have just found our X and Y center masses. So anywho, hopefully that uh, makes it a little easier. Um, typically these center mass calculations aren't too tough. Um, but I just wanted to give you that example. Next video I'll show, I'm going to start breaking down and we'll do the calculus version of those center masses. Hopefully uh, you did get through those two questions from the book and the center mass of the solar system, which is done exactly the same way as the center mass of those C clamps I just showed you. Uh, it's just the numbers are a tad bigger, uh, and it's an interesting calculation. When you get that, go ahead and take a picture of it. So do the math on paper the way I just did, uh, where I was on a whiteboard, but on a sheet of paper. Just take a picture of it with your cell phone, and I'm going to create an assignment in Schoology where you can answer the question of that. Actually, it's a quiz. I will create a quiz and you can answer the questions on the quiz using rich text, which just means you can put a PDF, you can put a picture, you can put whatever you want there. But the easiest thing to do, hand write it on a sheet of notebook paper, take a picture, put it in that location on the Schoology sheet. And I'm sorry that we can't be doing physics in person. I do miss you. Uh, and um, well, hey, you know, yay physics. Uh... Huh.